work for the Rana brethren. Get diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior. Yeah, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. You got to remember, brothers, you know, sisters, you know, dealing with the brothers mainly because, you know, we're the teachers, that we're about to enter into greatness, into glory, you know? So what we're going through right now are the proving grounds to enter into glory, you know? This is why the Lord is going to change our bodies. He's going to change our minds. He's going to put his laws into our inward parts once he takes his stony heart out and puts the fleshy heart in because we're going to enter into greatness. This is just trials and tribulations, you know, to get there. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thine exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation, and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy glory. Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand a small one, a strong nation, I the Lord will hasten it in his time. Mm -mm. <clears throat> all right shalom first and foremost we would like to give all praise and glory unto yahweh bahashim double honors unto the apostles and the elders of gms who rule well teach well being great examples to our younger brothers and peace and blessing salutations and hopefully they got there pushing this word and truth and in sincerity Across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, with GMS Mississippi Camp coming with another, all right, weekly lesson. All right, and we're going into the real is back. All right, the real is back. The real Israel is back, and the imposters, okay, which are these. Uh, 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 either might see self proclaimed white people, all right, are being exposed, you know, especially those that are in the land, you know, pretending, you know, to be, you know, those chosen people, all right. And we're in the time, all right, the scriptures say everything is coming in the open, okay. Which I'll read there real quick. Um, just lay a foundation. This is the book of. Mark 4 and 22. For there is nothing here which shall not be manifested. Neither was anything kept secret, but it did, but that it should come abroad. All right. And this was Yahweh Shai, you know, prophesying about this time, you know, when everything will be laid out in the open. 
you know, the truth concerning everything because this devil, as the scriptures say, he has, you know, uh, covered the earth in gross darkness. You know, he was prophesied to come back into power, you know, um, during the dark, uh, during the end of the dark ages, the renaissance, okay, and to go out in the four quarters of the earth spreading deception, okay? But now that deception is being broken up by this light, you know, and the Lord is causing, you know, all type of things to happen, you know, to expose this man and that the scriptures say, leave him bare, you know? Y'all brothers had something to add too? Y'all won't. I don't know you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to get this other precept and then we can get, you know, get into it. All right. We get a couple of definitions too. We'll get this definition. Why well, I got it real quick. Uh, and this describes the devil perfectly. You know, when you go into the definition, but let's get this other precept. Um, this is the book of Jeremiah 49 and 10. And it says, but I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hold himself. His seed is spoiled in his brethren and his neighbors. And he is not because before this man is spoiled, you know, and taken into captivity, you know, there will be a major, all right, expose, expose of this devil, man. There will be major exposure against this devil. Okay. And this is what we're watching real time. You know, via the prophets, you know, via, you know, even his own tongue, you know, falling up on them, you know, uh, certain, you know, these different platforms, TikTok, and, you know, all these different, you know, alternative news sites. And it's all about the spirit behind, you know, all these alternative news, even the ones that control opposition. But the spirit behind all of them is to expose this devil, man, and to bring out, all right, the information, okay. About what this devil is up to, man. Started from the top, you know, on the way down to the lower tier politicians, man. You know, from the elite bankers, okay, to the big tech, you know, to the to the to the local politicians is all coming out, you know, concerning this devil, you know. Um, so yeah, I wanna go here. I guess we'll get that in um, the book of Ezekiel. And then we'll go to that bar for decoration. So, you know, if these devils, you know, try to fulfill the prophecy, you know, they try to, you know, make the prophecies fit, you know, with them being the real people going back. All right. But they don't fit with the real people going back. And we're going to prove that. But they do fit. All right. With all right. Heathens being in our land, man. All right. They do fit the imposters, man. Okay. So when you go to Ezekiel. 36 okay this is the prophecy they fulfill they don't fulfill isaiah 2 they don't fulfill all right isaiah 31 they don't fulfill those prophecies man you know they fulfill the, the prophecies of the imposters man okay you can say something bro yeah bro they fulfill that um the revelation 2 and 9 been in the synagogue of Satan. come come yeah and that's you know two uh twofold you know because they were speaking of you know no jake back then you know but they're fulfilling it now you know this is ezekiel 36 and 4 said therefore ye mountains of israel hear the word of the lord all right this is ezekiel prophesying to the land itself he said thus said the lord power to the mountains and to the hills and to the rivers and to the valleys all right to the desolate waste and to the cities that are forsaken which became a prey and derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about, you know. So our land has become victim, okay, to these heathens, man. All right, because those heathens are not built to be in that land, you know. They don't they don't have that relationship, like scripture say, you know, of all the families of the earth, us have he known, you know, and the scriptures speak about how he 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 made you know the land for the people, for brother can get that. You know, and post that scripture how, you know, uh, the land was made for us. You know, we're that, we're that, <laughs> you see, 
where there are people that's the right fit for their land. You know, and that's why scriptures speak about how land is in mourning now, man, like a mother, you know, bereaved of her children. You know, verse five said, therefore, thus said the Lord power, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all I do me. Okay, so the, the prophecy is specific, you know, because you have other heathens in the land, but all right, who's claiming to be us? In the land is Idumia, okay? And you go to Idumia. All right, let's get Idumia, okay? Um, and say with despiteful, all right, minds, okay? And they did it out of spite because their hatred towards us, man. All right, uh, okay, here we go. Yep. So you go to Idumia. Okay, which is Adam in the Hebrew, which is what Esau. Okay, Edom. Okay, Edomite, Adumian, descendants of Esau. Okay, so through prophecy, we can identify the imposter that's in our land. Those are Edomites. Those are not Israelites. Those are not the chosen lineage. Those are not the sons of God. Okay, they don't descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. So the, through prophecy, we identify exactly who's in their land. All right, the real red man, Esau, Edom. Okay. Um. So let's finish that. Uh, yeah, let's get this get this clown out of here. But um. So let's go back to the uh the precept. Okay. This is um Ezekiel 36 and 5. It said, Therefore, thus said the Lord of power, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. Okay, so the Lord, you know, he identifies. You know, you have the heathen, okay, who's the head of the heathen, all right, in this time frame, Esau Edom, you know, because it was Esau Edom that appointed, you know, them lands unto themselves, man, okay? They appointed them lands through this <coughs> government, you know? You can say something, bro? Uh, I just agree with you. Um, when you're done, we can get Psalms 83, starting at verse 2. Down to verse five, man, because everything like you're going into, it was all plotted up within their own little uh, secret counseling, man. And the target has always been, you know, nation of Israel. And of course, to get the lands too, which is, you know, pretty much the beginning stages of still trying to do anything they can to get the birthright. Mm -hmm. Let me put it back up. All right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter um, 83. This is Psalms 83 and 1. It says, Keep not silence, O power. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O power. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crap and in account. You got Oh, so lucky. They, they told yeah. me, man, they done, they start chattering, talking amongst each other, you know what I'm saying, with, you know, pretty much hatred and anger, wanting to plot to do something to take down the nation of Israel, man, and, and put them at a dead state where they don't know who their power is, they don't know who they are. You know, this, this was the beginning stages of that, that, that council, man. You know, especially once they'll come, they uh, come through the Renaissance, man. Once they got their power back, so to speak. You got it, bro. Verse eight, verse three says, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulting against thy hidden ones. And that, that crafty counsel, man, we still see that going on today, man, with the uh uh world economic forum. You know, they be having all kind of crafty counsels, man. And, and you don't see nothing, nobody, no jakes in there. 
amongst that uh that council man sitting out in the audience and nothing if they do have a little melanin kind of dark you can best believe it's not an israelite man it's a hamite more more than likely you know well it, we know it ain't no israelite but it's all a big scheme as it was like even coming over here doing the transatlantic slave trade to beat the the heritage of israel out of the nation of israel man that way they can begin a a new programming you know to start programming those by words and those particular attributes when it comes to who to obey and manipulating the scriptures to their benefit that's all a part of that that, that uh crafty council man that that big scheme of things you know said the hidden ones you know and, and they made us hidden you know under those by words you know you got that um, uh um, what you call african-american studies you know those two small hats you know friends boaz and uh i forgot the other either my name the other small head name i know it's friends boaz but they pretty much introduced you know that african-american studies to the curriculum you know the schools you know to with jake yeah. you know uh, uh they would you know link themselves to only Af africa you know africa and america you know pretty much the middle passage all right we bought your ass from africa to america that's your history nigga. you know let it <laughs> yeah that's just what, we, what we, started oh it's luck oh you got it bro i mean but it's just crazy you know like you say they they putting these uh bad words on us to hide us and and and, and what voila we africans and they israelites they israelis rather they the real jew you know these are the these people are the first people to commit identity theft man on a yeah. grand scale because they have taken the 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 name of the chosen people you have by see me out shot and have placed it upon themselves man and then turned around and started demonizing the lord's people man you got it brother yeah. that's the other devil name melville hershkovitz yep mel mm -hmm. melville hershkovitz and um just real quick all right uh let's just share it real quick you know mine brother oh you got it bro it's the expose you know you put it out all right so you go into it all right this is um this day all right in its history <laughs> the white ish father of african studies dies all right so um let's see if you're gonna give some like they're trying to make us subscribe a hey, trip uh, and then they did it in a very subtile way yeah i thought they were gonna let me see if they give us another article they trying to make us subscribe to get to that mom but i'm gonna um read i'm gonna go back to the precepts you know you can expound them so you have to find another article dealing with those uh small heads that came with it african-american study um God. it's back in, um psalms 83 and 4 said they have said come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of israel may be no more in remembrance now now that 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 that's that's right there is a is a is a should like a highlighted scripture man because it said let us cut them off from being a nation well the 1948s suppose they know who they are they've been knowing right then they they got over to israel you know so they ain't been cut off they haven't been have to be brought back in remembrance of anything so that that's that definitely can apply to them okay they haven't been uh uh commuted over to america you know as the scripture states that we will be brought over here they they went straight to uh israel so how, how have they been cut off as a nation and the name of israel be no more remembrance which you know saying they call themselves israelis and everything but they they they've been knowing who they are apparently since 1948 especially man 
So the question again, how have they been cut off as a nation? Mm -hmm. You got to you continue on, bro. Come, on, brother. Verse five said, "For they have consulted together with one consent; they are confederate against thee." All right, and you go into the, na right. the nations. Oh, you got it, bro. You make a point. No, y'all go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. All right. Um. Yeah. So when you just go into the list of nations, all right, because at the end of the day, you know there was a little kickback, you know, from these nations, but now you see these nations are in full alliance with the devil, you know, and hiding, you know, and suppressing who we are. You know, that's why all these nations are going to go into captivity, man, because they consented, you know, to the devil. You know, there was some kickback, you know, which we're going to get into those wars. Okay. But then, you know, um, a lot of these nations, you know, they've consented over the years, man. But the Lord is steering these nations up, you know, for this war. All right. This last war, you know, that's going to remove this devil, you know, from power. All right. This is, um, Psalms 8, 3, and 6 at the tabernacles of Edom, okay, and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Ashur, also adjoined with them. They have hoping, all right, the children of Lot, Salah, all right. So, um, you know, like the, 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 the um, scriptures, you know, identify. You know, all these nations is being conglomerate, all right, against, you know, us being who we are because they know, okay, that us being in good standards with our power means they don't get to rule the earth, all right, under those false gods, man, okay? They don't get to, you know, do what they want and rule how they want, okay? They, it's it's going to be order. So, I got... I just real quick and this is just going into that devil all right uh melville herkovitz okay and it says um it says cultural relativism well i start i jump right here it says herkovitz was the first prominent white all right he was small had intellectual to declare that black culture in america was not pathological but rather inherently african and that it had to be viewed with within that context and po in posting this he established himself among the anthrop um anthropological which is the study of culture all right it says the vanguard in applying the principle of cultural relativism to ethnic cultures within the united states he traced regional traditions in art music dance and other expressions to a kind of persistent cultural memory in modern day black Americans, most of whom are generation removed from Africa. His his 1928 book, The Africa, The American Negro and the Seminole, all right, 1941, toned the myth of the Negro past fundamentally challenged widely held deceptions about black people in America. In 1948, how ironic. <laughs> the year right. that, that they established themselves as us. Okay, how ironic is this, man? In 1948, right. he founded the first interdisciplinary program at Northwestern University in African Studies and later formed the African Studies Association, man. So how uh, <laughs> uh, 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 convenient is that? Okay. Yep. That was put in motion. That was them consulting with that uh one consent. They had everything, yeah. put everything in motion. You know? So yeah, they set up their curriculum so Jake won't be curious and look past Africa, man. You know, because hey, before Africa, we was all right in uh Israel, man. Okay. That's 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 where we're from. We're from Jerusalem, you know, and even um let me get that real quick. You had some, um, uh, uh, brother? Uh, yum, yeah. No, I ain't got nothing, bro. Okay, I'm just checking on you, bro. But I got one. I'm gonna get this one. You know? You know, because see, when you forget your homeland, 
Because your homeland represents your standard. You know, like they represent, yeah. you know, your culture. You know, that's your identity. You know, that's that's your your homeland. You know, it's attached to your identity. You know, it's attached to your standards, attached to your weight. It's attached to your legacy, man. Okay? And he wanted us to be discontinued from that, man. Okay? So this is on Psalms 137 and 1. It says, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yeah, we wept when we remembered Zion. And this devil didn't want us to remember Zion. That's why he linked us all right, to, to Africa, man. Okay, was well, hey, yeah. you know Jake? You know Jake had a little thing going on in Africa, man. But that wasn't all right. That ain't who we are. We're not Africans, man. That's not our homeland. Okay, it says we hang our heads upon the willows in the midst thereof, for there they cried, they, like for there they carried us away captive. All right, for their day they carried us away captive, required of us a song, and they that wasted us required of us mirth saying sing us one of those songs of zion how shall we sing the lord's song in a strange land if i forget thee O jerusalem let my right hand forget her cunning if i forget if i do not remember thee let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth if i prefer not jerusalem above my chief joy okay so that land you know, because having a homeland gives you something to fight for, man. You know? Yeah. Like that, 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 that's why, you know, the Assyrians, you know, when they would take people captive, you know, they would deport them to another part of their kingdom because if you and your homeland, like your homeland invigorates you to fight, man. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So yeah. that's why you see, you know, they would... um. In the, uh, in the the Syrian Empire, they be you know they was uh you know they were they was infamous for you know moving populations throughout their empire. So you know you wouldn't be in your homeland. That kind of break your spirit, man. You know, so this devil knows yeah. that us being linked back, you know, to who we are, you know, that um plays a major part, you know, in us. You know, being connected to our power, man. You know, you can say something, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna just get this I'm about to bail for. Uh, that's why you know you you had some of them uprising during slavery, man. Especially when they came to Nat Turner, man. It started giving a sense of who we are, man. And uh, you know, even the songs you had, some Israelites would be singing throughout the plantation. It's uh, you know, swing low, sweet chariot coming uh forth to carry me home. You know that. And like you say, home is Israel, Jerusalem, man. So that was still a, a somewhat of a connection, and our people kind of knowing who they are, and that was more like a prayer song, man. Yeah. But see, the these devils, they they so manipulative, man. Then you know they hit Jake with that uh um uh, what was that damn cracking? I don't know. Why I can't take the name of uh when they brought them over to tell them how to um handle their slaves. Uh, damn. Talking about Willie Lynch. Willie Lynch, right, right. You know, when they started seeing, because that was what it was all about. You know, our people was being rebellious, trying to escape and all that. So that was another uh, a situation where they had a crafty council, man. They had Willie Lynch to come in and, and inform them on how they need to uh, handle their slaves to get the best results, man. And those yep. things that Israelites were doing, shit, they got beat out of them, man. They got beat to submission when, when the list came around. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I just want to get, bro, um, real quick, uh, just going into the, the Balfour Declaration, you know, because they said they appointed, you know, um, they appointed our land all right to themselves and this was you know the history on it so when you go to the ball for a declaration uh, all right so when you go into it says the ball for declaration was a public statement issued by the british government in 1917. see this is them fulfilling you know appointing the land to themselves man 
you know, this is the prophecy they fulfill. He is appointing this land to themselves. All right, that's why it called out Idumia. Okay, the British government. These are Edomites. Okay, it says um, in in 1917 during the First World War, announcing its support for the establishment of a national home for the Ish people in Palestine, then a ultimate region with a small minority of Ish. All right, small head population. The declaration was contained in a letter dated second uh, on November second, nineteen seventeen, from the United Kingdom's Foreign Secretary Arthur Balfour. Man, all right. So you had this devil here, all right. The first Earl of Balfour, also known as Lord Balfour, man. Okay, he was a Prime Minister, you know, in in nineteen o two. All right, of Britain. This is this is Idumia. This is this is I, I this, this is why the Lord called out Idumia. Okay, because they're at the forefront, all right, of, of this goddamn scam. All right, of this scandal. Okay. It says to Lord Rothschild, which the Rothschild played a major part in the slave trade. You know, they 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 played a major part in financing the slave trade, man. Okay. Uh, I think it's the devil on um, Nathan. You know, Nathan Rothschild, you know, you want to look if you, you know your brothers want to look his how he played a major part in the slave trade, man. Okay, he says a leader of the of the um British, all right, small head community for transmission in the Zionist Federation of Great Britain in Ireland. All right. So the text of declaration was published in the press November 9th, 1917. Okay, so this fulfills them devils. You know, appointing our land to themselves, man. You know, God. but they say, aha, <laughs> you know, is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, if, can I bring this right up out real quick, bro? One of y'all brothers what just found on it, whatever. This is a write up, and it says Hitler said, because the white Jays know that the Negroes are the real children of Israel. And to keep Americans secret, the Jays will blackmail America. They will extort America. Their plan for world domination won't work if the Negroes know who they are. The white citizens of America will be terrified to know that all this time they've been mistreating and discriminating and lynching the children of Israel. They will fear the most high will destroy them as he destroyed Egypt for doing the same thing. So the elite, the Illuminati keeps this a secret at all costs. And this is why the word is a problem. You know, and this is yep. why you know he's getting ready to see the, the, the new world. We're not in the new world. We're not in the script of the new world order. Like all you jakes that are sold out <laughs> and you think you're going to be good, you know, like you have a, a, a part all right, and your black ass can't call yourself no Israelite in this man's new world order. Okay, this is why he's the scripture so you're gonna be like a mad man sparing none, spoiling those that fear the Lord. You know, you calling yourself an Israelite, you know, that 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 completely ruins this man's narrative of how he runs the earth. You know, the reason why those small heads get away with so much because people, you know, handle them as if they're you know the people of the most high. You know, yep. so just real quick. All right, this um Ezekiel 36 and 3. It said, Therefore, prophesy and say, Thus said the Lord, because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side, that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen. All right, and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers and are an infamy to the people. And see, these devils are in our land. And they giving us a bad name, <laughs> you know, like th these devils, all right, have put a lot of dirt, you know, on our name, man, you know, and they really think a lot of people think that the Lord chosen people are just goddamn scumbags, man, you know, especially yeah. as of late, okay, but as the scriptures say, uh, uh, this devil is an imposter, man. I want to get that word, um infamous and see a lot of these devils at the top you know they just want to 
like Hitler, you know, was he was a small hat, you know, he was he was a sire to one of those um uh banking families, okay. But uh, you know, it'd be some infighting because some of some of them eat them mice, they just want to be eat them, eat them, and just rule like look, we got the sword, nigga, we eat them, you know. But then you have certain of the elites, they like, nah, we got you know, use deception, you know. Like we can, we it's easier for us to manipulate the minds of people if we, you know, go under the banner as Israelites, man. Okay, but you get this word yeah. inf infamous. Okay, it says well known. All right, for some bad quality or deed. Okay, to be disreputable, uh, to be notorious. All right, <laughs> you see, to be of ill fame, ill, Ill repute. All right, which is evil, okay, and and, and, and they have a bad, they have a, a stain <laughs> on our name, all right. But the Lord, you know, He's going to clean it up. And you go back to this definition, okay, of imposter. All right, it says an imposter, person who pretends to be someone else in order to deceive others, especially for fraudulent mm -hmm. gain, you know. And this man has. You know, the, the emotions is slipping now, but this man has had the emotions of the masses in his hand, you know, by deceiving them, by being an imposter, you know, imposing as us, man, as the, as the, as the, as the true children of light, you know? You would say something, bro? Uh, um, I had that other right up, this is kind of back up on it. Yeah, 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 bring it out, This bro. is, uh, I'm gonna this is uh, from the African Revolt. So like we said, I said I'm just queue up that video of them icons real quick while you bring it out. Okay, come. He you said it, you will never be able to live here in peace. Talking about living in Israel because you left here black and came back white. Gamal Abdel, second president of Egypt, Gamal Nasser. This is what his quote about the fake Jays currently in Egypt. And he served as the Egypt uh, president of Egypt from 1954 to 1970. So he's seen these imposters moving in, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He yeah. knew this wasn't the people. He witnessed it yeah. on their arrival, man. So he firsthand knew that this this is part of the scheme of things, man. And he yeah. exposed it. Yeah, these are some clowns out there. Like, you know, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, the people in that region know, you know, like, I can't, you know, you can't you, you you can't go to work in the morning, you know, wave to your neighbors, you know, speak to your neighbors, and then I come back and say I'm you. You know what I'm saying? Right. How this gonna work? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and then make them feel like they crazy, you know, for even questioning me about the shit. You know? Right. You can say something young yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And um and not only that, man, you got the hieroglyphics, you know. It shows you that the Israelites, those that were being oppressed over there, building, um, you know, being slaves over there, hey, they were they were people of color, man. Yep, you know, yeah, yep, they look like the Egyptians, almost. You know, yeah. But the scriptures huh. say, hey, they they would um they would paint paint the images in their likeness, man. Yep, they, what they call iconoclasm. Yep, iconoclasm. Yeah. So y'all, that's right on time since y'all said all that. And I can go ahead and get this. You know, just it's a quick video, but it's just gonna show you plainly. <laughs> you know. Okay. Icons dating back to the 14th century, brought together from private collections across Russia. It's very beautiful. It gives you goose pimples. It's a remarkable exhibition. It's an exhibition which feeds the senses. Everything is so gray outside at the moment and here suddenly it's a feast for the eyes and it's a feast that marks 100 years since religious icons started to be recognized as works of art before then they were mainly viewed as religious objects often left blackened over the centuries by the passage of time and added layers of paint when we learned how to remove the dark layers we discovered underneath an overwhelming beauty to such an extent that it shocked on Andre Matisse, who was in Moscow at the time. He said, it's here that artists should come to learn to paint, not to Italy. But today, only a small number of these masterpieces remain. 
Most were destroyed during the Soviet era. These icons are the survivors. If museums hadn't saved them, they wouldn't exist today. There are 50,000 icons in Russian museums. Before, there were millions. But now the future of this part of Russian heritage is up for debate. Are the icons best held by museums, or should they be returned to the country's churches? Icon should they be returned to the country's churches? Yeah, I just wanted to pause it right there, you know. So it's playing today, you know. You got Joseph. Mary house shot okay and this is this matches with the scriptures <laughs> you know all this linked with how you know we're describing the scriptures man you know as we get into it okay but the Lord has and then it said it was millions of them all right but you know them you know them Edomites you know Stalin them devils all right the USSR okay because of the, the small hats, you know, because you go to World War One, like we was getting into last week, bro. Like, they also yeah. take down, you know, the monarchs. You know, they took down the Ottoman Empire, you know, that monarchy. They took down the German Empire. You know, they got on um, uh, Wilhelm, okay, in Germany. They took him down, and they took down the Tsar, Nicholas II, you know. So they were taking down the monarchies. All right, because it's easy for them to infiltrate a government than it is a monarchy, you know. So uh, you have, you know, these puppet governments, they start setting up, you know. And you see, you know, um, the USSR, all right, uh, 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 I think it's what you call the, the Bolkovich Revolution, which a lot of them with small hats. Okay, they started destroying a lot of this art, man. But the Lord preserved, you know, at the end of the day, we like we it's, it's good to see it but we believe just by based on what we read man you know with the faith yeah. you know, the good faith that the lord give you know but this is just a faith booster okay and it's just you know hey this is this is just icing on the cake you know as to say you know you can say something yeah. bro no no i'm just agreeing with you bro yeah so let's get get a few precepts and just see how you know it, it links up you know, so when you go into the scriptures and they describe, okay, um, your house shot. All right, this is Revelation 1 and um, and 13. Yeah, so the Revelation 1 and 13 says, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like the son of man clothed a garment down to the foot and girded about with the paps with a golden girdle okay the ancient you know the garments okay his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow and his eyes all right were as a flame of fire okay and then and then white like wool you know it's describing the color of his hair and the texture okay and who has that, that, right. that woolly hair today okay it says in his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burnt in a furnace, and his voice is the sound of many waters. So if his feet, okay, were likened unto fine brass, and not only fine brass, but brass that's burnt, you know, which would be dark, okay. And the, uh, uh, the brother Halak, you know, made the point how, you know, if you go into the bathroom, <laughs> all right, if somebody on the stall, you know, well, you can tell. All right, what color their person is if you just seen their feet, 
you know, you just came in and you looked right. down, said you had some sandals on, okay, and you seen their feet well, you know what what, what color person it is, man. Okay, right. so he was describing his his feet, you know, being as brass burnt in fire. Well, that's you know, that's the that's the color of their person, man. Okay, so you go here and what do the scriptures say about? Let's go to Hebrews 1. Because that's why how I say, if you've seen me, you have seen the Father. Okay? So let's read this, um, Hebrews 1 and 3. It says, who being the brightness of his glory, speaking of how shot, and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the which of his, uh, by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sin, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. So Yahweh shot the express image, okay, of the heavenly father. So when you see Yahweh shot is as, is, is as if you've seen the father, he looks like his father. Okay, well, he, what they say, he's a, he's a, a, a duplicate, okay, of the father. Okay? Yeah. So going back to Daniel, you go to Daniel and it describes the heavenly father. Okay. okay. All right. Daniel 7 and 9 says, I be held to the thrones of cast down and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and their hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Okay, so this is describing the Most High, and his hair was white as snow, and the hair on his head like the pure wool, you know. So he's being described similar to what Yahweh Shai. Okay, so if uh, our heavenly Father is dark, Yahweh Shai is dark, and we are descendants of Yahweh Shai, when they be dark, when they be a people of color, now we do look like other nations due to us being scattered. Okay, but what about uh, our people that still, you know, have their color? Okay, ain't no way that the whole race, you know, turned into, all right, the whole lineage of Israel turned into so-called white people. <laughs> okay, we still, a, there's still a, a remnant, all right, there's still a uh, a, a uh, portion of Israelites, you know, who still have those features that's described here, man. People of color with, with their woolly hair. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, Esau, man, they'll try to use Revelation 1 and 4, 14. So like 1 and 14, try to say, well, his hair is just white, light wool. It's not saying it's the texture. They'll really try to use that. But then when you go to Daniel 7, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and 9 and bring it out. It's, it's 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 blatantly describes like you say the most high how with that his hair was white light wool but it was uh his hair was of pure wool mm -hmm. so it gives a complete description of the color and the texture and like the house i said he and his father's one if you have seen him, you have seen the father so esau can't use that uh narrative to try to you know what I'm saying dribble his way through the crowd man yeah, yeah. Kyrie. At the end of the day, the text of Esau is, is, is he got he got uh uh horse hair, man. Mm -hmm. boy, that boy, that boy, that boy, scringy by the head, got man. Man, yeah, boy, he reaching though. He doing what he can. Yeah. Yeah, that's another reason why they want to do away with the uh, uh the pictures, man, because the picture just showed the uh. Mary outside Joseph, man. That's clearly a fro, man. There's yeah. nothing stringy about that hair. Right. Yeah. And then if, if the uh, color didn't matter here, why go to the certain stink, you know, of, of you know, trying to trying to do away with it? Yeah. Right, right. Clearly a fro. Clearly skin look like it been burned in the furnace, man. Yeah. Uh shade of brown. Mm-hmm. Look just like look just like your uncle Donnell. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, man. That's us, man. How a nigga gonna tell us we ain't us? 
You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, nah, my boy, you, you ain't, you know? What Eddie, Eddie King, what Eddie Kane Jr. said, you wish you could sing like Eddie Kane Jr., man. Yeah, you know? yeah. You can't uh, get it because you ain't got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let me get that. Hey, bro, out. can we get Janet? Oh, Salaki. No, nah, no, nah, you got what you, what you got, bro. I just want, I just mean. Uh, Genesis is uh, 4 and 14. Okay, come. Cool. Is that Genesis four and fourteen? Good. Cool. One four, one four, one four, four. All right, this is the book of cool. Genesis. Uh, chapter 4 verse 14 said behold and this is speaking of Cain that has driven me out this day um, from the face of the earth and from thy face shall I be hid and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me and the Lord said unto him therefore who no you got it, you got it. Oh, cause I mean, I was the one I would get to is the fact of what they say a fugitive and a vagabond. And if you a fugitive, you know, is a person basically who has uh, escaped from something and he's pretty much kind of on the run. And we all know, you know, a person who is on the run from something, what they normally do, they 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 change their hair, they 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 get a new ID, you know, they go under a different name and everything trying to camouflage who they truly are. And that's what Esau did, man. This nigga has been a fugitive in the back of him. So what he only thing he has done throughout his day is not all, but taking the identity of other people, man, primarily the nation of Israel, to claim that fame, to be that person. Even over in America, man, when they um, come to Gad, man, they got all the Edomites and they had native blood and they was benefiting from being gay when they wasn't gay, man. They was getting particular monies, particular lands and everything. But they was under the banner of being a nation who they wasn't, a person who they ain't. You know, and that's how throughout uh, history they continue to benefit, especially over in America, man. They benefit from being someone of another nation, man. But this devil, he's, he, he's a fugitive. He on the run, but he's getting exposed, you know? So now, his card is getting rejected. His ID is being called out. It's out of date. So it's known who he is on a mass scale, man, by way of the prophets through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Yeah. Yep. And normally a fugitive don't commit a crime. You know? And this, this damn come, bro. Yeah, he don't he don't commit the, one of the biggest crime there is, you know. Yeah, his crime so yeah. so so heinous, a that he gotta be removed altogether. And then uh, if you if you're a fugitive, you got like you say, you gotta operate under uh false IDs. Mm -hmm. You know, everywhere you go, you know, you you gotta operate on the false ID. You know, that's why this nigga yeah. called himself Anglo Saxon, European, Swedish, <laughs> Roman, Greek, you know. Everybody nigga, but Esau. Yeah, 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 yeah. This nigga was Egyptian for a while, you know, this nigga was a pharaoh. Hey, you know what that nigga say he said Esau died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He, 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 all them, he, he, all them in Turk, you know, this nigga assaulting this nigga all there with Ishmael, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he Islam, you know what I'm saying? This nigga, you know, that boy, yeah, yeah, be you, nigga. yeah, nah, he, 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 don't, he, don't, he don't want that title, you know, uh, nah, he don't want that. I'm finished, uh, verse 15 says, and the Lord said unto him, therefore, whosoever slave came. Vengeance shall take, um, shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any man finding him should kill him. And that was that leprosy, man. And that's why when Esau came yeah. back with that yeah. leprosy, that was a token that there was this nigga Cain coming back on the scene, man. Mm -hmm. You know, right? Yeah. And that uh, that that past that 
the Heavenly Father gave this nigga. This that motherfucker is about to expire, man. It's pretty much expired. It, it's pretty yeah, much yeah. done, man. The tables are turning now. Yeah. That's why he in the courtroom now. You know, like, mm-hmm. like the, the the word got this nigga. You know, like he's in custody. You know, the word, the truth got this nigga in yeah. custody. You know, now he's he's getting he's getting scrutinized. He's getting that inquisition. If a brother can post that, you know, dealing with that inquisition. You know, I get that word inquisition. Well, this is the book, book of Job, chapter 30 and 30. This is Job, which was the Israelite. It says, my skin is black upon me and my bones are burnt with heat. Now, let's get this word. Um, this word black in the Hebrew. All right. Which is Sha'ar. All right. When you go into the scrolls, okay, it says to be dim or dark in color, okay, to be dim or dark in color. You see, <laughs> derivatives of black, all right, because we're just different shades of brown, you know, when you go into it, all right, us as a people, right, you know. Um, let's get this in the Song of Solomon. We'll get this as a different, you know, and then Esau tried to say that this is um a woman, but nah, this is uh King Solomon. These are his writings, man. That's why I say songs of Solomon, man. You know, so you get this in um Song of Solomon one and five. I am black but comely. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Now you go to different Bibles. Okay, in our V, it says, Dark am I, yet lovely. Daughters of Jerusalem, dark like the tents of Kedar, like the tent of curtains, like the tent curtains of, of Solomon. Okay, so this, this is describing a dark man. Okay, the CSB. Okay, daughters of Jerusalem, I am dark like the tents of Kedar. Yeah, lovely like the curtains of Solomon. Okay, and this is poetry, man. Okay, so a lot of this, you know, is speaking, you know, in third person, you know, when you go into it, but it's meant to be a stumbling block, all right, for for you clowns, okay, especially for you Edomites, like, because if I was an Edomite, I would buck up against everything too, you know, because <laughs> shit. Hey, who the hell want to be an Edomite? But you, 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 you didn't right. mind being an Edomite when uh, uh, you had your foot up our ass, man. You know, like you say, when we was getting fed the dogs, and you know, you, you use an Edomite, you look outside, and you, you know, yeah, 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 you had acres of cotton, acres of slaves, laying up with the nigga woman, and you know, it was cool to be an Edomite then, but. I just scripts to say you ain't think about your ladder in, my boy. Right. So yeah, we seeing Inquisition. Yep, this is another one too. Mr. Brother Um uh Tizer one Elder Tizer one, Jeremiah 14 and 2 said, Judah morning and the gates their own language. They are black unto the ground, and the crowd of Jerusalem is going up. All right. And Judah being the head tribe, you know, tribe, Yahusha, King David came out of. Okay, it says in the gate, the gate stereo language, and they're speaking of the leadership. Okay, so it's describing the leadership. They are black unto the ground. All right, was a, a dark. Okay, people of color. You see? So, um, uh, his brother, hey, I got uh, the definition of. Uh, in the Hebrew, uh, Kodar. Okay. And yeah. going straight down to the lexicon, it says um, to be of a dirty, blackish color as of burnt skin. So that's going into still that 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 dark skin, that dark complexion, like we had uh, brought up Yahweh Shai uh, description, as his feet had been burnt in the furnace. Yep. Okay, it's a it's a dark complexion of your skin, man. 
just more proof that the uh, nation of Israel are of different shades of dark brown, man. And the brother got that uh, uh let me see. Copy. Yeah, so brother got their precept. I'm gonna read it. And um the book of wisdom of Solomon is the brother Yaqua, the hopeful leg three. Okay, it said wisdom of Solomon one and nine. It said, For inquisition shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly. And the it says, and the sound of his word shall come unto the Lord for the manifestation of his wicked deeds. Okay, so like you was going into earlier, all those wicked counsels are being brought out. Okay, like you in court, you know they got all this evidence on. You got these witnesses, you know brothers, you know even you got his own people that turned on him. <laughs> you know. Yeah. These are uh, uh, alternative new Edomites and turned on them. Okay, he got all these witnesses, man. You got the northern and southern kingdom, those two witnesses, man. Okay, TikTok is against this nigga, man. <laughs> you see, yeah, and all the evidence is being brought forth. Okay, so when you go into his word, like, can, no, oh, I just bring this definition out real quick. When you go into his word, Inquisition. Yeah. It says a period or of prolonged and intensive questioning or investigation. So since our elders and their elders have been on the scene, this devil has been on has been on the intensive questioning and investigation, man. Okay. A a court is in session, man. You know? Yeah. And brother steady bringing out evidence. All right. This is brother Yaramia Kazak. Lamentation 5 and 10, it says our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you finna make a point, bro? Oh, oh, no. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna say it's like uh the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai, man. It's like they got a Rico case. On these devils, man, that's been building up, and you know the Rico cases, you ain't getting out of it. It's just a matter of time for you have to uh, do your bid. Mm -hmm. So, like the scriptures going to how his sins that reached unto the heavens, he he got a, a a stack of documents full of wickedness, deceit, murder, you name it, man. You know, and and, and that that case, them cases, man. He he, the Lord is about to throw the book at him, man. Mm -hmm. So this devil finna he he's finna have to go into slavery, man, for a, a thousand years, man, punishment. Then he's gonna, you know, and the whole time he's on death row. Just how Esau have Jake on death row, you got them 20, 30 years. They finna be on death row for a thousand years. So he's gonna come back multiple times and serve captivity before he exterminate him, man. Yeah. And the Lord got perfect judgment. So let's get this here, here real quick. All right. This is on Jeremiah 30 and 8. For it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve the Lord in power and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. All right, and they don't never mention King David. So where is King David? King David is within the prophecy of us, okay, being returned to their land. Therefore, fear not, O my servant Jacob, said the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return and be in rest, all right, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. Well, that's not the case over there, man. Okay, that's not the current situation right. of them on those small hats where no one is making them afraid. You know, they've been in perpetual war. Okay, mm. and lately, all right, they've been getting their ass handed to them. Well, you got a lot of those small hats. You know, a lot of them devils going back to Britain. Someone coming over here to America. They getting the hell out of there, man. You know, they they. They they do plan dress up. 
Like it's getting real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, like, shit. This, yeah, then this ain't the play. You know, shit was cute. You know, when it's copacetic. But then, you know, yeah, motherfucker trying to knock the top out your head every day. Then now you want to go back to Europe. <laughs> you know, you want, yeah. you know. So let's get this real quick. So this is a list of wars involving Israel. Okay, this is how you know they some niggas. You know how niggas stay into some shit, you know? Like these niggas stay into some shit, you know? So yeah, 1948, the first first year, they on the block, you know? Arab-Israeli war, okay? Started in six months of civil war between uh, the Ish and the Arab militias, okay? When the mandate period in Palestine was ending and it turned into a regular war after the establishment of Israel and the intervention of several Arab armies. In this conclusion, they said agreements were signed between Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon. All right, so you got that war. You got the Palestine, Fade uh, Yin insurgency, the 1950s and 1960s. You don't even have no, no end of beginning. It's just the 50s and 60s, goddamn shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Suez crisis. So this is a war within the war. This was in 56. Okay? A military attack on Egypt by Britain, France, and Israel. And see, the West been propping them small heads up, man. Okay? You know, the Western, you know, militaries and Western economy have been popping, propping these devils up. Okay? You had the Six Day War in, in 1967, June 1967. War of attrition from 1967 to 70. Okay, the uh, Yom Kippur War, October 73. Okay, uh, coalition, he said, fought from 6 to 26 October 1973 by a coalition of Arab states led by Egypt and Syria. Um, you had the Palestinian insurgency in South Lebanon from 71 to 82, 11 years of war, man. And then in 82, you know, and they, they can end the war, go right into another one, you know? Right. Lebanon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn. You know? It's in 82. All right. You have the South Lebanon conflict from 85 to 2000. Nearly 15 years of warfare between the uh, IDF, all right? Forces and this Lebanon Christian proxy militias against Lebanese Muslim guerrilla led by Iranian backed Hezbollah. All right. Um, first Intifada, you know, second Intifada, goddamn 2006 Lebanon War, summer 2006. Okay, and Hezbollah, all right, Hezbollah got on that ass too. You know, our brothers looked at the 2006 Lebanon War. All right. One for Lebanon hand the ass to him. One for tapped out. All right. Uh, Gaza War, 2008, 2012 Israeli Operation of Gaza Script, 2012, 2014 Gaza War, uh, Syrian Civilian War, uh, 2021 Hamas. 2023 October 7th, which that's the one <laughs> that's happening now. God damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, god damn, right now. <laughs> this ain't nothing like the, the prophecy of the real people coming back, man. You know, mm-hmm. <clears throat> this has nothing to do because uh, that's what you were saying earlier, young y'all. You gonna make a point, bro? Yeah, I'm just gonna say we can just grab that scripture. Yeah, okay, I got I got it for you. Yeah. So you can break it. And so we'll get straight to the point too. Yeah. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter two, and I started three. And it says that many people shall go and say, Come ye, 
and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, the government of Yahweh by Shema All right, and this is Yahweh and 144,000 to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall uh, nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Yeah, because it ain't gonna be no more wars because it's gonna be straight peace. And these nations, they're gonna they're going into they're going to captivity, man. Submission under under the children of Israel, you know. And um, and because the kingdom of heaven has to be built up, you know. And so all these weapons, they they gonna they're going to build them in, uh, into like gardening tools and uh, uh, tools of, of work. Huh? And, and, yeah. and, and you know, these, these are not the people because, hey, shit, the brother just went down the list of wars. These, these niggas been in ever since they came into the land, man. They stay banging. Uh, yep. Hey, they, they stay at it with somebody, man. Yep. Yeah. Hey, See, but that's just how I brothers brought out. out. Oh, so like I was gonna say that's just how about some y'all shot exposing this devil. How he he he's not he's not it, he's not them, you know. Cuz because Isaiah 2, that that's uh that's a future prophecy, man. Cause we in Joel 3 now. You know, our nations are roused up for war, man. Mm -hmm. and, and like the brother that just brought the scripture out, they will learn war no more. These these other these nations are getting together, training each other, preparing each other to get down, man. So if this is the people, why is all this going on? Why is all this friction happening? Why is all this World War Three talking? Why is all these uh this weaponry talk going on? Because it, they're not the people, man. And and they can't they they can deny it all they want to, but the the proof is in the uh, prophecies, man. So yeah, I want to get that. Uh, see, I can pull these pictures up. I almost forgot about them pictures you seen, bro. See if I can. Okay, come. We can bring out that dude to run me twenty eight sixty eight. So I'm gonna get this real quick. And I say, uh, you can break it down, young yeah. I'm gonna get this done Deuteronomy 33 and 27. It said, The eternal power is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, and he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall and shall say, destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon the land of corn and wine. Also, his heaven shall drop down Do Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, the shield of thy help, who is the sword of thy excellency. And thy enemy shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Yeah, because uh, at the end of the day, Yahshua Allah is going to rise, man, you know. And and your how about Shai is gonna deal with his people, you know, as a god, and they they're gonna be his people, and everybody else is gonna be as again as nothing, man, going back those servants, you know, and we're gonna be a people who are gonna enjoy the earth, and and we're just gonna uh we're just gonna expand and and keep expanding, man, and we're gonna have we're gonna have the do of the earth, you know. Uh. Hey, and if I can say you the re another way you know that this is not the people, man, is that when you go into the scriptures, how when the righteous are in authority, the the uh the people rejoice, man. And when the wicked bear rule the people more, you got uprisings of the people all across the globe, man. Everybody hit everybody next. You got constant murder throughout all the states here in um, Babylon, you know. There's no peace, there's no risk, okay. Then you got what? Uh, 
I said, the, the fir trees shall rejoice. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty much when roughly paraphrasing when the uh, righteous are uh, ruling, man. The righteous is not ruling, man. The righteous is chatting down this this society, man, through the spirit of power y'all by some of y'all shot. Okay, prophesying, teaching, and preaching. But 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 we're 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 not singing to put on our beds right now. Okay, we're hastening the return of your house shot in the in the uh, in the uh, ushering in of a uh, righteous king. But right now, uh, the devil has still rulership, man. It's slipping, but he's still ruling right now. Yep, man. And your house shot is not. That's why right. the earth is so chaotic. So like, you got it, bro. No, no, you you got it, bro. So like, no, no, you got it. that was it. Y'all gonna say yeah, ain't right. Your house shot ain't coming to establish his authority over them yet, man. You know. And, and right, how right. Come, everybody gonna know, you know. Every, everybody's gonna know. Uh, that's right. Right now, everybody know that this damn devil at war. Everybody know that. Come, on, bro. Yeah, if a brother can. Uh, if a brother can post it in. Um, I think Jeremiah sixteen and fourteen about the second deliverance. All right, because a brother sent these yeah. pictures. This ain't this ain't no this this ain't no glorious salvation, <laughs> <laughs> you know. This is not all right. What we've been waiting on, all right, to to to, to be flown, you know, on a commercial plane. Okay, look right. at this. This is them coming back in in, in forty eight. Okay, the Lord didn't get no glory from this man. This wasn't miraculous. Then America would have to be destroyed. Right. Okay. Right. So, hey, these, these imposters don't fit the bill, man. Okay. Get another picture, man. Look at you, son. Look at these niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy, getting in first class and coach and everything just to catch a flight, man. They got to fuel up. Yeah, how your house shot coming in? Yeah, and you see her at the front. Yeah, she handsome. She handsome as hell right here at the front. <laughs> you know, she got that nah. side eye. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. This the kingdom? Nah, right. my nigga. Nah. Keep yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. Look at these. Right, niggas, her man. eyes look fucked up. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, yep. and then look what you know he on some. Look at this nigga behind her. <laughs> you know, you know this nigga on every. He probably looking day. at that baby right there, man. That old boy holding. Yeah, look you know at the one saying? next to him. Shit, the one next to him like she going through it. <laughs> oh yeah, he beating her out the frame. Man. Yeah, something got him. All right, so, scripture um, make a whole lot of sense. Why we're gonna be like, is this the people? Is this the man that called the yeah, earth the yeah. truth? This nigga. So this is the brother Yaqua on um, the hopeful leg three. On uh, Jeremiah 16 and 14 said, Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord live it. They brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Their first exodus, but the Lord live it. They brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their uh into their land that I gave unto their fathers. So the Lord, okay, would would be hands on in delivering us, man. Okay. This isn't this is not how we will go back to Jerusalem. Okay. A bunch of weirdos. All right, on the goddamn plane, man. Okay, right. <laughs> These are not the people, man. They don't they don't fit the prophecy of the true people? I say they fit the prophecy of the imposters. Okay. Um, uh, what would you have wanted to get, bro? Um, Deuteronomy twenty eight and uh sixty eight. Right, uh, and if a brother can post on uh, Jeremiah, and we end up with that Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 10 and um 11. 
you know. All right, there's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. It says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. All right, for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Right, because I, I, I have yet to seen a transatlantic slave ship with images of these niggas on there like they are here nah you know stressed out you know the uh uh um, using the bathroom on each other feces urine you know stacked up I I'm, I'm yet to see it so so where where is that um that that punishment they have to go through by way of them ships they they ain't over here in uh in America doing the uh transatlantic slave trade. They wasn't on auction blocks. You know, but they'll try to use the 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 H cost like that was that was the real deal. You know, and there's so many uh gray areas in that shit, you know, but these people have never had to suffer the the uh uh the punishments for being disobedient to your how about see me I was shot. They they in in, in they really trying to uh, um, downgrade how the Lord is going to deliver his people, man. How do you go? The Lord going to deliver these yogas on a, what's that, maybe a 757? Man, come on, man. That's the type of deliverance you saying that the power of uh, Israel, that's how they move? Come on, man. But these people have not endured anything according to the scriptures that the lord said that his people was gonna have to go through gonna have to suffer through okay and again if any of these damn gutter rats can show a, a a picture that they ain't cooped up of them actually being in ships okay carried the two out oh the seas over here to babylon and then put on auction blocks sold to the bit the highest bidder and working on uh plantations and being lynched and burn alive, you know, then then j just stop it, man. Because like again, the proof is in the prophecy, man. The proof is in the scriptures, man, that these are not the people, man. There they go. All right, Amalek. Okay, and them Amalek women ain't got it, boy. God damn. She got like the Joker, man. Yeah, you know, so <laughs> she just need the paint, goddamn. You know, yeah, woman, that women do not got it. Well, uh, but yeah, we end it here. Um, with the brother, it's the brother, hopeful leg three, Jeremiah 31 and 10. It says, Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and declare in the isles of far off, and say. He that scared Israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd though his flock. So the power that scatters us is going to be the power that gathers us, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Not some damn um, bow for decoration. You know, not the British government. Okay. Not the damn, you know, Rothschild banking cartel. Okay. Not under the, the regime of Zionists. Nah, man. It's going to be through great glory. You know, when you have a shot coming to make war, you know, that that war, that war, all right, they, they, that war has been waged, raised in righteousness against the heathen. We're not going to get in that land until you have a shot come wage war against this place, man. Okay. Jeremiah 31 and 11 said, For the Lord have redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand or from the power of him that was stronger than he. Okay. And that's going to be in the midst of this third world's war. Okay. But so we're going to be ransomed and redeemed back, you know, to our power. And we're going to be redeemed back to our rightful positions in the earth as rulers, man. You know? But that's all I had, y'all brothers. Had in, in closing comment. I don't, bro. Kind of. So, yeah, we'll, um, we'll leave it there. You know, Lord, we'll. 
<clears throat> your brothers, you know, and your sisters were edified, you know, with the water for tuning in, you know, with the water for your brothers helping, you know, with the live stream, add to it, you know, Lord will, you know, hey, we was all edified, you know, so to the next time we say shallow warm, you know, going my shallow, you know, a Bible ball soon. Shalom. Shalom.